Welcome to Love Them Knives channel. LTK is here to talk to you about what else? Another knife today. And what is this? It's some crazy stuff. It really is. I am pretty excited about this knife, actually. Not everything is perfect with this knife, but not everything is perfect ever with anything. This is a knife that came from China. It's not an official branded or recognized knife here in the States. And that's why it's so much fun. I like doing things like this. There you go. A Quaken type of design, at least as far as the handle goes. The blade, modified Tonto in D2. Satin. This really, uh, yeah. More complex grind. Interesting. Titanium frame lock flipper. On bearings. Looks like it's got a, yeah. Lock bar insert. And let's take a look real quick. Yeah. And there's the little... Uh, Detent ball. And do we have an over travel stop? Yeah, I can see it through there. So, yeah, we do. Over travel stop. You can hear that hit. And it is centered. This is kind of cool. Magic. I guess that's what that says magic <laughs> I, I i i looked and i i bought mine from these guys and i'm going to show you real quick no no fancy uh screenshots with uh you know switching camera to the high tech i know i know you can look online and there's people that you know, you just see the computer screen and they do their clicks and stuff. And now you don't want to see my laptop invented like five years after the Abacus came out. So, no, you don't want to see it. This is <laughs> this is better, actually. Low tech, but titanium alloy knife industry factory. One, two, three, four, five words. <laughs> I mean, my God. But in any case, this is where I got mine, 65 bucks. And guess what? You're not gonna believe this. So get ready, get ready, hold on. I'm gonna tell you, 10 days, 10 days, that's it. 10 days, I mean, wow. Okay, gentlemen, see where it says, Magic 2017 Gentleman Folding Knife D2 Titanium, blah, blah, blah. Here gives you the length of the blade in millimeters, which looks pretty close to four inches. 22.5 centimeters, pretty good uh, long knife overall. Four millimeter thick, basically. Handle, 40 millimeter. Stone wash and all that kind of stuff. So, and ball bearing. So, and it comes in the pouch, like we're showing you right here. And you're going, what's in here? Well, I'll show you. Because we've been down this road before. Yes, we have. Come on out, darling. There. Remember the magic chav that I did? Chav. Meaning, I don't know, magic witch something. So this is kind of that razor looking knife. And I looked on YouTube and there's a couple of reviews other than mine on this knife i'm not sure if they're in english i didn't go that far but this has got kind of that little bit like that there's a jen zanzo knife that looks like it's got this sculpted scale a little bit like this but other than that there's no resemblance to anything i've seen um this is i mean you can do this razor slash cleaver type design but whatever i'm just saying so you got that Okay, which titanium factory sells that for 66 bucks. 
Then I've also done a review on this knife, which was not mine, and so I don't have it in my possession, but it's the Magic Summer. So we got Magic Chav, Magic Summer, Magic Gentleman, and they've got more magic. Here's another Magic Summer. This way they've uh, done some anno work to it, that kind of thing. So just want to let you know there's a lot of magic out there. And uh, you can look on DHgate as well. I don't know. I got mine from AliExpress, so it is what it is. And we're going to concentrate on this knife. And we have seen that this is a fairly large knife, at least. And, of course, I did a really bad tape job, but I put tape on here to keep from damaging blades. I got a little grief from uh, some people that I know. Um... And I gave him grief back, but it was fun. So I, I, I've done a really raggedy job of this. Probably going to get a plastic ruler going forward, but we're going to use the tape for today. That's really close to four inches on that. Should have got an X-Acto knife, cleaned that up a little bit. But in any case, so yeah, about uh, 99 millimeters. Long for a blade. 22 and a half centimeters. Looks just about right, which is... I mean, almost nine inches long total. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, let's see if we can get this wrapped around the handle. And we can. 13.37 millimeters, which will be inches here. Okay, 0.52. So, you know, it's a little over a half inch. Thick. Let's look at the blade stock. Uh, point, uh, one five. Yeah, if we get it lined up, point one five four, three point nine. So just about four millimeter thick. So that's pretty good blade stock. D two steel satin grind. This is like a bead blast. Actually, you have. A screw back here holding this thing together there and there and that's blue coated I mean that's not titanium screw the rest of it yeah that's not magnetic and neither is that uh, but the hardware is so got that straightened out it would have been kind of nice if they would have blued that and maybe the pivot. If you can coat one, you can coat them all. And this, you know, could be a good candidate for some kind of an anno job of some sort. I don't know. But right now, it's not bad. I guess you could do this blue and the backspacer blue, kind of jazz it up a little bit. Really cool design, a real quaking look. There's a couple of things on this knife that I'm not that crazy about. And let's go down that road. Flipper tab. Now, one thing about the flipper tab, you can say it's not real tall. Uh, I'm not sure I'm that big on the shape. Look at this one. I kind of like this better. And look at Jimping. Jimping. This one, there is no jimping. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh my God. I have flipped this knife a bunch. First of all, get your fingers off the lock bar. The more you squeeze the lock bar, the harder it is to flip, and it just gets to be a really wicked circle there. So get your fingers away from the lock bar which means you, you know you can kind of almost take these first two fingers and just let this one hang up in the air and it makes it easier to flip the problem is i mean this might as well be dispensing 10w40 oil or something this is so slick it is so damn slick and the detent of course is better the more you squeeze the lock bar uh, so you got to get your fingers out there. Try and rest them back here on the pocket clip because this is the normal way I hold a knife. Like this when I flip it. And this, 
is so wrong. I mean, you just, it's just not going to be good. Actually, this thing almost push buttons better than light switch. And you know, you got no jimping and it is, I mean, this is buttery smooth here. This is incredibly smooth, way too smooth. It needs jimping. Now, I mean, it's D2 steel. I guess you could cut some, some traction in here which would be good. Why? I mean, you know, and this thing is tilted at this angle back here. Uh, that just doesn't make it real easy to engage. It'd been better if it kind of hooked forward, you know, so that, so that you're not sliding naturally this way. So actually the little hook could kind of catch you and your, your finger could get into the little semicircle thing. It would be better. It'd be better if it was a little taller and there was jimping. I mean, and I'm kind of I'm kind of nitpicking in a way. Uh, you just get out of the way of the lock bar and light and and push button and it, it clicks right out. It's got bearings. It's it's really nice uh, action here. The second thing, jimping here and the actual flipper tab design could have been back a little further. A little taller and maybe a little straighter or a, a semicircle kind of curve going that way you know like a would have I think been more effective this is just way too slick too small and too at just such a natural angle for your finger to slide off the second thing is the jimping here on the actual frame the problem is when you get done um, flipping the knife your finger lands on this washboard and it's meaningful jimping that's a good thing that's a bad thing it's a good thing if you're trying to get some traction on this knife it's a bad thing if you sit here and flip this knife a hundred times because your finger will then meet the cheese grater over and over and over and that's not a good thing. It gets sore after a while. It really does. Hitting that. And and these aren't like really sharp. I mean, these are, see, they're well-rounded, nice and blasted and, and fairly smooth in that respect. But it's, it's deep jimping. And you feel that when you do that. You really do. <sighs> Don't know. I just... I know I'm kind of beating it to death a little bit, but I got this out 30, I mean, $65 for this knife delivered. Titanium frame lock flipper, insert over travel stop, bearings, flips great. I love the quaking look of this knife. To me, I mean, somebody, somebody said, and I sent them a picture and then they go, oh, it looks a little bit like the Leon Ma warrior and i'm going no actually no the blade definitely not uh well his warrior looks a little bit like the boker quaking so i mean pfft, whatever when you start getting these long uh long rectangular handles then everything kind of looks like everything the blade shape is totally different than both the quaking and the warrior and I think really this handle looks a lot more like the Stedman Shy, S-H-Y. Look at that one up. Yeah, it looks more like that. I mean, the handle and then the blade is like totally different. So, you know, say what you will. When you start getting into these long quaking look uh, handles, eh, they all look the same. I mean, I could probably pull up 10 knives that look like this. So... Just trying to get away from anybody that thinks anybody stole anybody's design. It, no, no, no. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna get pulled down that road. Not with something like this. Really nice knife. <sighs> Feels good in the hand. You know, it fits the hand really good. Like that. Reverse grip. See. Yeah, good. Like it. 
And actually, I thought when I felt the edge, I didn't. I didn't really think it was super, super sharp. I mean, it, it's a reasonable working edge, but it's not. I mean, to me, yeah, it's pretty good. It, it's not. It could use maybe a little bit more work, but it's reasonably sharp for a working edge uh, from you know a knife that's where they probably did it, you know, on a wheel or something to put the initial edge on there. Nothing to brag about, but it'll work. I guess it wouldn't be that tough to sharpen either until you get around this corner. And then I've never done that kind of uh, configuration yet on my KME sharpener, but I think it's a doable deal. I'll have to try sometime, but uh, yeah. These are nice. I mean, they come in a pouch. And it it came in this plastic bag and then put in here like that. So, yeah. I like the fact they come in a decent zipper pouch. And it's a good-looking knife. I like the bead blast finish. I like the satin blade. I like the fact that this is a 4-inch blade and a 9-inch knife overall. Because I like the bigger knives, but this slides right in the pocket real easy. And uh, it's not a real deep carry. You can see that. And it's right hand tip up only. So you got that. But that, that pocket clip's not moving at all. It's pretty well planted into this scale. So that's really good. And you got like this little lanyard hole, which is cool because uh, you could get a lanyard threaded through there, but it's it's not sticking out in your face. See, there's the hole in there. All right. Yeah, I like it. And, you know, the flipper tab's not real obvious, and maybe you don't want a really, really tall flipper tab, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it wears your fingertip out after a while when you're on, on that jimping there, when that comes down on that. It should be, you know, if you're going to have the flipper tab that fall forward, then this jimping should be gone here. See, you should have brought this up about two more at least. And then your finger will not be as likely to land see about right here that should be smooth going back just in my estimation see that is so smooth you're almost better off to button good action though bearings are nice there's no blade play or lock rock although i have to say after i flipped this knife for a while I noticed that the blade was a little off center and I go ah, ha, ha. and sure enough I got the uh, torques in there this was not locked tighted into place and it slowly backed off just a little bit and when you back that off you're gonna change your your centering so I unscrewed it the rest of the way put a little bit of blue Loctite on there Screwed it back on to where it was centered and no blade play and the actual action was the way I wanted it. And then I let it set and it hasn't moved on me since. So I'm in good shape there. But I, I like these, whatever these Magic brand knives are. Uh, wow, Magic Summer Knife was a really good one. I'll put the link to that review as well under here and uh i'll put the link to this one too uh review that i did and there's more uh but i didn't print out pictures but you can go on aliexpress go to titanium knife factory i guess if you want titanium alloy knife industry factory Three years in the business was quick shipping. Really good. I am so pleased. 
Uh, I think going forward, if I get anything that they have in stock and they have some interesting knives in stock, if they have it in stock, I'm ordering it from them because that was some quick shipping. And you know how it gets sometimes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, they, they, they didn't do anything here. They didn't, uh, you know, as far as milling out the insides, the handle or anything, but I don't think you needed that to be done. It doesn't feel all that heavy. It's probably in reasonably, you know, in, in that realm. I'll bet it's like 150 maybe grams, 4.8. So 4.8 ounces, that's right in there. It's under five ounces. Yeah, 137 grams. So, you know, yeah, it's it's fairly light. I like it. It's got some heft to it. 4.8 ounces for a nine, nine inch long knife. Slim, gets right in the pocket, no problem. Don't even know it's there. But yeah, you got a nine inch knife. That's, that's a pretty good size knife. 65 bucks. I mean, I really don't want to start naming names, but you tell me what you can get with d2 steel blade and i mean even like you know look at some of the other chinese knives that are in the country we knives or stedman or whatever and they have some budget oriented stuff with d2 or 440 but they want almost a hundred dollars for their knives and it's g10 with a liner lock not that there's anything wrong with that i'm just saying for this you get d2 and a titanium frame lock. Not bad. I mean, I think it's a really interesting buy. And would I recommend this knife? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it flips good. It flips good. You just got to get intentional with that, with that flipper tab. And maybe if you can get a little grinder or something, you could grind a couple of slots in there uh, on that flipper tab. It'd make it better. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm sliding off of it a little bit. But, you know, you just got to get intentional. Keep your fingers off the lock bar here, if at all possible. And then it's really, it flies out really well. Just don't put a lot of pressure on the lock bar, which goes for a lot of frame lock knives. That's kind of why sometimes, and people say I never say this, but I do. There ain't nothing wrong with a liner lock. Because it doesn't matter. Then you don't have the, the chance of putting any pressure and making that change when you have a liner lock knife. Like this. You can grab it as hard as you want. Doesn't matter. I, I have no, no problem with liner locks. I'm starting to really get to like them. And the fact that you get this full presentation side on the back too. Where here you got the cutaway and stuff. So it does kind of, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. In any case, you know, but if you like titanium frame lock flippers, and I do, I do, got to admit it, but I do. Very good knife. And of course, this is a titanium frame lock flipper as well. Another magic beauty. And the magic summer. May have to go on my list, but not anytime in the near future because uh, there's just too much stuff rolling around right now for me to try and get to on my reviews. But it looks like this brand, they're doing some stuff. Interesting. Just thought I'd throw it out at you. Just to see what you say. It might be of interest to you. I know some people got turned on to this one after I did the review, and I think this one is a real winner. Maybe if I had to choose between the two of them, I wouldn't want to do that, because I'll tell you what, I like this one real, real good. Real good. Look at the size difference here. Pretty close. Pretty close to the same. Both good sized knives, actually. Both good sized knives. Not take up too much of your time, but yeah, this is bigger. But this is at, I think, three and a half, so. Yeah, boy. Sweet. Thank you so much for your time. Sorry I took so much of your time, but 
I think this summer stuff is uh, is going somewhere. I'm going to keep my eye on it. That's for sure. Thank you so much. We love them knives. Stay sharp, my friends.